create mod iron farming. There are tons of different tutorials on YouTube, honestly at this point probably hundreds, and everybody seems to do it their own way, but one big shortfall I've seen with a lot of these is I don't know if I've seen an early game iron farm. So I've got one design to show off today that can be crafted with only 16 iron and is going to produce over a stack every single hour. My big goal with the starter farm is to make something that you could realistically build in day one of your game. And of course, I also made an endgame iron farm which is going to produce over 2,000 iron every single hour and can be very easily upgraded to produce over 5,000 iron an hour. So the basics of generating iron with the create mod is we crush cobblestone to get gravel and then we wash that gravel to get iron. But when we're crafting that iron, we only get a 12% chance of one iron nugget. So to make this whole system work, we want to be generating cobblestone as fast as we can. We're going to take a look at two super efficient ways of producing cobblestone. The first that you can very easily do early game. And the second that requires some late game items, but can produce cobblestone very, very quickly. So the very first step is the cobble gen. So our cobble gen and our early game iron farm is handed off of a single lava bucket and two drills which drill out the lava as soon as it forms, then goes into this water stream down below and into our grinding step. For the starter iron farm, we have one millstone moving at max speed, which handles most of our cobblestone, but we do need an extra millstone here that every once in a while will pick up one or two cobblestone to kind of make sure that our system is fully kept up with and we're not going to have a big stack of cobblestone here that this one can't keep up with. And this balancing is actually handled in a really cool way where as the items come out of the water stream, they're guaranteed to go in the andesite funnel, but if this millstone is full, they'll hit this and drop down into the second millstone. And then below the millstones, we just have two chutes, which drop our items down to our wash step. For our washing step and our simple farm, this belt is perfectly timed out, where the items get washed right before they go into the andesite funnel and into our chest for storage. And that's done by running your fan at 192, so that way it's blowing water right to the very end, and running your belt at 32 speed, so everything is timed out absolutely perfectly. The reason the wash system for our simple iron farm is a little bit more complicated is so that way we don't need brass to build this, and it can all be built before you even do your first trip to the nether. And for our end game iron farm, we have 128 lava source blocks here, but you definitely want to be using the mechanical pump to actually fill up this area. As well as a row of water that just kind of drops down to the bottom here to make our cobblestone gen. And then we have a minecart contraption, which kind of goes back and forth on this little track. With a whole bunch of linear chassis and drills to very quickly mine out the blocks almost as soon as they form. And then those get pumped out with a single portable storage interface down into our crushing step. And then for our advanced iron farm, for every single stack of cobblestone we're mining in every cycle, we need a set of crushing wheels and a smart chute so that way we can drop a whole stack down from this top belt down into our crushing wheels. And this is where the expandability of this farm comes in. You could actually take this and expand it by up to three additional crushing wheels with three additional smart chutes. And for each additional set, just add 64 new blocks to your cobblestone farm and this system will be able to keep up with it. So our wash station in our advanced iron farm is actually a little bit more simple, and that's because we don't need the belt because this system with the brass funnel can actually handle infinite capacity. Every stack is gonna be pushed to the end and will all be smelted up just as fast as every other stack. And then we have this brass funnel with a filter on here that basically is blacklisting gravel. So only our nuggets and flint will go into the sparrow to be sorted out. Now for our end game iron farm, we do add one additional step after the gravel has been washed, and that's to pump out our nuggets into this basin, where they get pressed down into ingots and then stored in a vault, and to have our flint come out on this other belt to be stored in a vault, and we, additionally we have a backup system for when this gets filled up. Once this vault is full, all the flint will just drop into this lava and be voided out, and then we have a stockpile switch set to 90%, where when that's full, it will stop our cobble gen essentially turning off our entire system so that way we're not going to lag out our world by producing more items than we can handle. Now to actually hook this system up, power it, down in the description I do have schematics where everything is geared right to the correct speeds for both the simple and the complex iron farm. And the simple iron farm only needs 32 RPM at 2816 stress units so this can be run off of 64 sales 
or 11 water wheels, and can be created with only 26 andesite alloy, 26 dried kelp, 19 logs, 9 iron, 4 cobblestone, and then 30 stone bricks, and 3 stone stairs. Now, these can be switched out for whatever block you'd want to use, but note that anything near the cobble gen should be non-flammable. And for our advanced iron farm, we do need to input 256 RPM at 9,472 stress units. So this takes a lot more effort to run, and that's just because stress wheels have such a high kinetic stress impact. So I really wouldn't recommend setting this up until you have a boiler system to run it. Along with the raw machine schematics, I also have schematics for a fully decorated version that has integrated power for both our simple iron farm, which is running off 64 windmill sails, as well as the advanced iron farm, which is running off of a small boiler setup. However, this will need an input of some kind of flammable block to run the blaze burners. Now this system is actually a bit overkill, but it's designed like that on purpose, so that way this, so that way with this boiler setup, you can actually have your additional three sets of crushing wheels, and you can expand the system on your own that can handle over 5,000 iron ingots per hour. However, I think 2,000 is plenty for most people in most worlds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it, and I'm excited to make more contraptions for you guys in the future. Let me know down in the comments what contraption you'd want to see next time. Bye bye <laughs>